Okay, now we're going to add an animator group uh, so we can animate the tracking and the uh, skewing of the text. Um, so let's start down here. Um, we'll twirl this down and under, over here across from the text there's this little animate and there's a, a button right here that has an arrow. And when you click on that um, you have all these properties that you can choose from. Um, so I said, let's say we were going to try tracking. So let's try the tracking here. Okay. And one of the first uh, things you probably want to do is, is, an, is uh, change the name of our animator one. Because if you keep, an, keep adding to this, um, it gets kind of confusing on which one is which, so it's a good habit to get into. Um, so let's hit rename, and we'll call this one animator one. And let's see, what did I say? Tracking. Let's do tracking. Return. Okay. So let's see. All right, let's move our. Uh, let's give it a keyframe. Tracking amount. Okay, so under the tracking amount, when I click to the left, it goes, the tracking goes inward, and then if I drag my mouse to the right, it goes outward. So let's let's start it inside. Really tightly together. So about minus 60 about there. And that gave us a keyframe. Okay, and we'll just move our time indicator out and then we'll move it to about the edge of the screen there. Oh, let's just go way out. We'll move that frame in a little bit. The keyframe I mean. And then then we'll then we'll just hit it, send it back to zero. So that's back to normal for our third keyframe. So it starts, goes out, and then in. And that's animating the tracking. So let's see, we're now let's, um, what did I say we're going to do next? Skewing. Okay, so let's see, can we? So under, now up here we have the animate, and now down here we have an add. So if we want to add something to the same group, we can try this. Add a selector or a property. We're going to go into property, and let's see, we'll try skewing. Okay. And now that we're back to square one here, um, let's give that a keyframe. Right there. We'll move it over a little bit. Um, so I'm going to under the skew. I'm going to move to the left. I'm going to move my time indicator. I'm going to move to the right. And I'm dragging the mouse to the right. You can also click on it and and change the numbers if you want, which I'm going to do here now. I'll move the time indicator more. And then I'll hit zero. It goes back to the beginning. Okay, so now I've got it tracking. And I've got the skewing going left and right, and then back to the center. And I think I'm going to move these over a little bit, just to make it a little bit of a quicker, quicker animation. I'm going to move my time here and, and see if I can preview that. See up here is my preview. And this might take too long. I'm just going to I'm just going to drag it for for now. So you can see, yeah, it doesn't even show up too good. You can kind of see what it's doing now. 
Okay, and I'm gonna stop here, and the next we'll we'll talk about the uh, the range selectors.